Welcome to Study IQ. Through the course of this video, we will look at the important current affairs that have transpired in the state of West Bengal from January all the way to June 2018. These are all important and pertinent for your local West Bengal exams and the other exams that you'll be writing, which probe, which test you on your current affairs. This, of course, is an entire video course which is available online. You can also take a look at the other courses which are there on our website, studyiq.com, or you can dial on these numbers and know more about these courses. You can follow our co-founder on Instagram by the name of Tyler Soul, or you can search for Dr. Garg, Gaurav Garg, and you can find him on Instagram. Starting commencing West Bengal current affairs, West Bengal government has decided to come up with a firm law uh, to put an end to fake news, right? And West Bengal is planning to start this new law to tackle the fake news on social media. As we've all been hearing about the uh, the emergence or the spate of uh, the fake news that has come up, right? So the West Bengal government is working on a new law to tackle the menace of fake news and posts which are there on social media. So fake news is the ultimate target of the West Bengal government over here. Uh, here we need to remember the backdrop, right? Uh, these kind of posts are stirring trouble and they're also leading to unrest in many parts of the country, right? Uh, recently, if we take the examples, there were recent incidents uh, of uh, violence in Shillong, in Goda, uh, in the Jharkhand region, in Karbi uh, region, district in Assam. Uh, so this has added to the concern and that is the reason the West Bengal government is working on this law. Uh, the state government will bring more clarity on the nature of the offense, of course, and the punishment for those responsible for spreading the fake news and also posting morphed, uh, morphed photographs because they want to disrupt peace, right? So here, as we can see, that the West Bengal government will come up with a firm law to put an end to fake news. And this entire law will make sure that the menace of fake news is getting handled, right? Uh, you need to also remember over here that currently in West Bengal, uh, people who are found responsible for posting fake news, right, or morphed photographs, uh, photographs which were uh, morphed, right? So currently what was happening, uh, if their intent was clear that they wanted to create fear, they wanted to create panic among public. So then they were booked under sections 5051B, right, of the Indian Penal Code. So that was the current law that was being used. And also uh, they were getting uh, like, you know, the IPC section 504 was also applied for cases where people could see intentional insult with an intent to provoke the breach of peace, right? So here a very uh, good step being taken by the West Bengal government to come up and this news had transpired in the month of June. Uh, this is what you need to remember. Uh, the Bangla Grameen Abhas Yojana in West Bengal, right? Uh, this Yojana will impact 5 lakh uh, people, so 5 lakh houses for the poor people in West Bengal. The West Bengal government is going to be providing 5 lakh houses to the poor people uh, in the rural areas and this will be a part of the Bangla Grameen Abhyas Yojana right uh, subsequently of course the government will provide houses uh, that is uh, called your bunglar bari so that is also called your bunglar bunglar bari bunglar bari uh, that is homes uh, right to the people in the rural belt and the bangla gramin abhas yojana is a part of the pradhan mantri gramin avas yojana in west bengal right so it is actually a part of the pradhan mantri gramin avas yojana in west bengal and the government has handed over these houses already uh, to people on the 29th of January this year, 2018. Uh, here you need to also remember about Gitanjali scheme, wherein the government will also provide financial assistance to build the houses of 3 lakh people under the Gitanjali scheme. So the government will provide financial assistance so that people can build their homes, right, to 3 lakh people. So this you need to remember. And of course, how this is under the Pradhan Mantri Grameen Yojana. 
The West Bengal government will also provide 5 lakh homes to economically weaker and homeless families, right, under this entire scheme of Bangla Grameen Awas Yojana. Uh, moreover, people who are having their own plots, right, so many people, they already having their own plots, will also receive financial assistance for the purpose of construction of their houses. Now, here you need to remember that if someone is having a plot already and they are receiving financial assistance uh, for the purpose of construction of their house, then this will come under the scheme of Nijo Bhumi. Nijo Bhumi Nijo Greha. Nijo Bhumi Nijo Greha. Nijo Bhumi Nijo Greha scheme, right? So, this also you need to remember. This is for people who already have their plot and they're getting financial assistance to construct their houses on the plot, right? So, uh, people who are having mud houses, people who do not have houses, they will all benefit from this scheme, right? This is important. Moving on, the, the fish meals uh, scheme has been introduced at the rate of 21 rupees uh, in West Bengal for the poor people. This is a part of Ekushi Annapurna. Ekushi Annapurna. Uh, so uh, from me onwards, you can get a fish meal. So that's already started at the rate of 21 rupees at Bengal, West Bengal's government offices. This is of course a part of Ekushi Annapurna. Uh, here you need to remember that the West Bengal government, uh, which has already launched the fish meal scheme in various state offices already, uh, the poor will get subsidized meal at just 21 rupees under the Ekoshu Annapurna Yojana. Under this scheme, the employees and the visitors, right, uh, to the government offices, because, you know, the visitors also have to wait for a really long time, uh, will get meal consisting of rice, dal, vegetable, curry and fish curry and this scheme was implemented on the 1st of May 2018 onwards, right? You need to remember this. Uh, you need to also understand that the state government, the West Bengal state government has launched this scheme following the lines of the Amma canteen. So uh, the other states, for example, uh, someone is having the Amma canteen in Tamil Nadu uh, by the Tamil Nadu government initiative, right? This is actually launched following the lines of the Amma Canteen Scheme by the Tamil Nadu government. Uh, the West Bengal Fishermen's Cooperation Limited, uh, that is also, this also you need to remember, that is called Benfish. That is your West Bengal uh, State Fishermen's Cooperative Limited Benfish. They will perform marketing for this scheme, the Ekusha Annapurna Scheme, which will provide subsidized meal at the rate of 21. Uh, the fish meal is going to realize the dream of providing nutritious food to all the citizens and the state government will run the scheme at no profit no loss basis right uh, so they will break even and every day thousands of visitors they always come to the government offices for their work and not all of them are financially capable of purchasing a full meal at reasonable prices therefore the primary objective is to provide wholesome meals at lower prices right and Benfish of course will utilize its battery uh, the 100 battery run cars uh, for the transportation of these subsidized meals to the various government offices, right? A brilliant scheme being introduced over here to help the people who are coming and visiting the government offices. Moving on, special pension scheme, West Bengal. So the special pension scheme for 3 lakh pensioners has been approved by the West Bengal government. Uh, the government will provide all necessary funds under the Bengal new pension scheme. Under the Bengal new pension scheme, and the Bengal new pension scheme will benefit mainly the senior citizens. It will benefit uh, the widows, the disabled people, the disabled people. Uh, Directorate of Pension, uh, Provident Fund and Group Insurance is the implementing agency for this new pension scheme. So uh, around 3.25 lakh people who are going to lose their pension as per. So he, this is the context that you need to remember. This is the context that you need to know about the implementation of the Bengal new pension scheme. So under the context, right, there are 3.25 lakh people who are going to lose their pension as per the West Bengal pension order uh, can apply for this special pension scheme to continue receiving pension. Uh, what had happened with these? 
least 3.2 lakh pensioners this is something that you uh, need to probably even understand so uh, under the national social assistance program right so under the national social assistance program that's your Na nsap national social assistance program uh, several crore people across the country uh, they will receive financial aid that's your pension from the central government uh, these pensioners include senior citizens of course persons with disabilities uh, widows however in the nsap scheme that's your national social assistance program scheme the west bengal quota for pensioners has been 21.31 lakh people so they have according to the nsap report 21.31 lakh people from west bengal should receive the scheme however the eligible number of pensioners in west bengal is 23.4 lakh right is 23.4 lakh therefore the west bengal government is consistently making efforts to resolve this issue with the central government uh, however they have not received any response right uh, moreover as per the new guidelines the central government around 1.15 lakh people in rural areas are also going to lose their pension so therefore what the west bengal government has decided is that they will launch this new scheme for its own uh, people to benefit them for around like you know 3.25 lakh west bengal citizens under this scheme so the state government will provide all the funds and of course the west bengal government has directed all the panchayats to make a list of all the people who are losing their pension and after the list is prepared the government will enroll the people so this you need to remember the context that why the west bengal government has launched a special pension scheme for 3 lakh pensioners so this is important because they were not all covered under the national social assistance program right moving on so of course you can even pause the video and look at some of the key features of this entire new scheme uh, Samitra Chatterjee has received the France Legion of Honor Award. Actor Samitra Chatterjee will receive, has already received rather this award. Uh, Legion of Honor Award, you need to remember this is the highest order of merit in France. And the French government conferred the award to the legendary actor uh, at the 42nd Calcutta Book, Calcutta Book uh, Fair that was held in January, uh, in the month of January, on 30th of January, right? So Samitra Chatterjee receiving the France Legion of Honor Award, which is an important news, right? Sastasundar.com, they have opened their 200th health buddy store in West Bengal. And Sastasundar.com is one of the leading digital networks of healthcare in India. They have announced the opening of their 200th health buddy store in West Bengal. Uh, Sastasundar.com is a digital network. Uh, it's being built upon the online to offline model of healthcare delivery they, because they want to leverage technology and inventory uh, and inventory less service right center of franchisee which is called health buddy uh, currently there are about 200 health buddy stores covering 22 districts of west bengal uh, where around 6.5 lakh registered customers they are having uh, so sastasundar.com is basically an innovative information and knowledge based technology platform which works as the communication medium between users and independent licensed chemist right they are building a digital network of healthcare uh, they they're managing efficient pharma related aspects also right so the the pharma wellness product supply chain and they're also connecting doctors and diagnostic services healthcare clinics and health information services right so it is also uh, ensuring the supply of genuine medicines at a very low cost at the doorstep free of cost to customers right so sasta sundar uh, becoming important and they've definitely opened their 200th health buddy store west bengal plans to export mangoes to europe uh, this was decided uh, on April 6th, right? So mangoes from West Bengal will shortly find their shelf space in Europe. They've already started doing that. The state government has initiated preparatory work to fill the shelves of malls in countries like the UK, like Italy, like France, um, France and others, of course, uh, will when the best uh, of the mangoes that are produced in the 
Malda district. So in the Malda district, we'll take a shelf uh, in the malls of UK, Italy and France. Uh, so June onwards already, mango varieties. So some of the mango varieties that includes your uh, your Himsagar mango variety or your Langra uh, Himsagar or your Langra or even for for that matter the fuzzly or the lakshman bhog and others of course have been exported to europe and according to the agricultural experts production of mangoes is expected to cross over 400 metric tons 400 metric tons so that is something that they are looking at uh, you also need to remember that the modern packaging houses are being built by the state government where fruits will be packed according to international standards and special hot water plants are also being being built to treat the fruits right uh, since of course most of the mangoes are to be exported uh, from the Malta district so the packaging houses and the fruit treatment facilities are also being built there right so you need to remember this Poland bets big on West Bengal as investment destination right so Poland has launched a new program to further strengthen its bilateral cooperation with India and of course this program is known as the West Bengal project which was launched in Warsaw uh, and this entire program that was launched in Warsaw was launched on 6th of April 2018. This seeks to facilitate greater collaboration between the two countries in the mining sector and of course the West Bengal project is the first of its kind project that was launched by the government uh, of the Republic of Poland and it will offer full range of comprehensive solutions which are aimed specifically at the particular sector of a foreign partner's economy. Right. Uh, so this will provide tailor made solutions specifically for the mining and energy sectors of West Bengal. So this West Bengal project in that way is it's a first of its kind program. Right. Uh, you also need to remember that the launch of the West Bengal project, it is on the heels of the recently concluded Bengal Global Business Summit, Bengal Global Business Summit, which we've already discussed in the first part, Bengal Global Business Summit. Uh, right, which took place in Calcutta, in Kolkata, January 2018. Uh, during the summit, a memorandum of understanding was also signed between the Ministry of Energy of Poland and the government of West Bengal to increase cooperation in the mining and energy sectors. Uh, Poland, of course, is a global leader in the mining industry and has a proven history in providing technologically advanced and cutting-edge solutions for the mining sector. And, of course, given the Indian government's plans to increase Increase the domestic coal production uh, to 1 billion tons, right, by 2020. So that's the Indian government's plan to increase the domestic coal production by 1 billion tons by 2020. So Poland definitely sees this as an ideal opportunity to provide its Indian partners the expertise of the Polish businesses, right? So this, of course, the Poland bets uh, big in West Bengal as the investment destination. Mamata Banerjee has increased, right, uh, of course, has created state security advisors post on the lines of the NSA. That's your national security advisor. So the chief minister of West Bengal has created state security advisor, the state security advisors post on lines with the national security advisor. Uh, well, Mamta Banerjee announced uh, has created this post on the lines of the National Security Advisor at the state level for the first time in the country. This is important. Therefore, it's the first time in the country appointing Director General of Police, right? Mr. Uh, Surjit, uh, so over here, Surjit Kaur has been uh, selected over here. So this is something that you need to remember how he's been Surjit Kaur um, Purkasha. Burkastia has been uh, appointed and is invested uh, with sweeping powers of the security and law enforcement agencies. Uh, you need to also remember that the state security advisor, the state security advisor, the state security advisor over here will not only act as a principal security coordinator to the chief minister, but he, he will also have the power to strategic intervention in proposals which are involving security issues and personnel. Uh, the state security 
security advisor will be nothing short of a de facto home minister right and the state security advisor will have the authority to examine all proposals related to security issues uh, the dgp and the home secretary were also entrusted with these right previously uh, and you need to over here remember uh, but now everything will pass uh, to the state security advisor the ssa would provide a mechanism for a state intelligence grid right now this is important because this is very similar to your nat grid and what is a nat grid nat grid is a national intelligence grid right national intelligence grid and the uh, the state security advisor will report directly to the chief minister and will have a working term of 3 years uh, with of course no further provisions of extension uh, a similar move was made by punjab chief minister amrinder singh uh, who wanted to create the post of chief principal secretary to the chief minister which was held as unconstitutional by the punjab and haryana high court uh, the post of course created for the first time in punjab was said to be equivalent to the cabinet secretary of union government uh, however former up uh, cm mayawati was successful in such an endeavor as she appointed shashank shekhar singh as the cabinet secretary in this state right so here you need to remember how mamta banerjee has created this entire position for uh, surjit kar here moving on west bengal government to set up its own film academy uh, besides promoting of course the development of films the west bengal film academy so this will be the west bengal film academy will act as an umbrella body for all the issues relating to the film industry uh, that includes developing infrastructure uh, which is needed for the uh, for the industry or ensuring the overall development and promotion of the film uh, sector in bengal uh, the government has already issued a notification for setting up the West Bengal Film Academy right uh, there are about 23 members in the academy representing film fraternity the various associations senior officials of the information and cultural affairs right uh, it is of course headed by the youth services and sports minister who is the chairman and among the members uh, some of the members that we are having West Bengal to set up its own film academy some of the members will include uh, Gautam Ghosh, right? It'll include uh, in, it'll include Sujit Sarkar. It'll include actors like Prasenjit Chatterjee or Shatabdi Roy or Deepak Adhikari, uh, right? And of course, uh, Shatabdi Roy and Deepak Adhikari are the two Trinamool Trinamool Congress MPs. So West Bengal government all set to set up its own film academy. Uh, over here it will also ensure creation of employment opportunities in the sector and it will give advice on various ongoing issues to sort out the problems faced by producers distributors exhibitors right uh, of course the members of the west bengal film academy will also seek to ensure further development of the roop kala kendra the west bengal film development corporation limited the cinema sanitary building and of course other such related institutions right so West Bengal government all set up for its own film academy. Moving on, uh, the Sadharan Brahmo Samaj takes West Bengal government to court. The Sadharan Brahmo Samaj, that's your SPS, the party that was funded uh, by Rabindranath Tagore's father in the initial years, uh, has entered, of course, into this legal battle with the state government uh, over its decision to dissolve the governing bodies of eight colleges in Calcutta run by the organization uh, the cover the governing bodies of eight colleges uh, which were dissolved following the decision of the state's minority affairs and the madarsa education department uh, to not grant the sps that's your sadharan pramo samaj right the sps the status of a minority religion uh, which was an order dated 8 september 2017 uh, the order of course argued that since uh, sadharan pramo samaj is not a separate minority religion uh, the related colleges administered by it should be treated as non-minority government colleges so that was a problem therefore Sadharan Brahmo Samaj takes the West Bengal uh, government to the court uh, the governing bodies of the colleges of course administered the Brahmo Samaj Education Society right will be dissolved now uh, so the colleges that are there uh, are of course Ananda Mohan College right colleges like the Ananda Mohan College the City College the Ram Mohan College the Umesh Chandra College the Sibnath uh, Sa Shastri College, the City College of Commerce and Business Administration, the uh, the Hiramba, the Hiramba Chandra, 
uh, college or the Prafula College, the Prafula Chandra College, all these colleges, right, uh, which are located are a part of this. So, of course, Aadhaar and Brahmul Samaj has taken the West Bengal government to court. Cybercrime, of course, uh, has been a major cause of concern. And to tackle this, cybercrime police stations will be there in every district in West Bengal, right? Uh, to combat, of course, the online crimes that are originating in Bengal, the state government has decided to firm up its cybercrime fighting capabilities capabilities and fourfold jump is there in cyber crimes unfortunately in the city over the last five years that is the reason the calcutta police top brass has set up at least one dedicated one dedicated cyber police station in each of the districts one dedicated cyber police stations in each of the districts right virendra appointed as the new dg of west bengal police right the west bengal government has appointed virendra as the new director general of police uh, he is replacing uh, dr dgp surjit kar right uh, who retired on 31st may and Virendra was, of course, posted as the DG security earlier, right? So DG now is going to be, uh, was posted as a DG security, right? West Bengal, Panchayat Polls, Trinamur Congress sweeps elections with over 20,000 seats. And BJP, of course, comes as the distant, emerges as a distant second uh, 18th May news. Of course, the ruling Trinamur Congress has uh, looked uh, set for a resounding win, bulldozing all the political rivals in the rural West Bengal. Uh, the left of course, uh, which ruled uh, in the entire state for over 34 years until 2011 was decimated in the third position and Congress, of course, was virtually wiped out. Uh, the West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee congratulated the party workers for the massive win and dedicated the victory to the people. Uh, this is, of course, increasingly interesting development um, and another in important development was that the performance of the independents who had bagged more more seats than the left front, right? So this was a very interesting factor, which was there. Uh, Trinamool Congress connected to that has also won the Mahesh Tala Assembly by poll in West Bengal. So the ruling Trinamool Congress in West Bengal won the Mah Mahesh, uh, Mahesh Tala Assembly by poll, defeating its uh, nearest rival, the BJP, uh, with a margin of 6,200, uh, sorry, 62,831 votes, right? Uh, this is, of course, a victory of Mamta Banerjee and a politics of development, according to many. And Trinamool Congress win proves that the muscle power of Didi is definitely intact, right? Nepa virus of course care west bengal was on high alert uh, this is especially in uh, the month of may right west bengal was put on high alert on 23rd may uh, with the re-emergence of the nepa virus in india uh, nepa virus is of course a deadly and a contagious 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 virus contagious virus which is spread to the human from animals and is carried by fruit bats and pigs is carried by fruit bats and pigs this virus is fatal to humans and mammals and of course a recent outbreak of NEPA has claimed over 10 lives in Kerala and has caused a public health scare all across, right? So this was of course a very scary incident that had taken place. Uh, West Bengal government hikes bus fare by rupee 1. Uh, this news of course the, the, the Kolkata bus fare uh, will increase, has already increased by 1 rupee on the 6th of June 2018 according to the Bengal Transport Minister. Uh, in a view of course of the steep hike in fuel prices the bus fares in the city uh, have increased by one rupee on all routes. Uh, West Bengal Transport Minister had mentioned this. Uh, the Transport Ministers, of course, Shubhendu Adhikari. Uh, and here in future, he said, if the price of diesel falls, then, of course, there will be a mechanism through which the fare will be reduced automatically, right? The West Bengal is set to roll out the intrastate e-way bill, which has already been rolled out uh, on the 3rd of June, right? 2018, the six states, Mizoram, Odisha, Punjab, Chhattisgarh, Goa, and Jammu and Kashmir, uh, they've already implemented the e-way bill system for intrastate movement of goods on 1st of June and Tamil Nadu and West Bengal have rolled the same, the intra-city, intra-state e-way bill on the 3rd of June, right? Uh, West Bengal is of course likely to witness 30 to 40 percent rise in the revenue collection uh, once the e-way bill uh, for the intra-state movement of goods is implemented, which has already happened, right? So West Bengal's all set uh, has already done that, the intra-state e-way bill.
West Bengal to get four new universities. This is the assertion made by the West Bengal Education Minister. Uh, the West Bengal Higher Education Minister Partha Chatterjee said that four new uh, universities will come up in the state in future. And of course, the new varsities will be set up in uh, in Alipurdar, in Jalpaiguri, in East Midnapur and Jhargam. Uh, the minister said that during the seven years of Trinamool Congress rule, 22 new higher educational institutions institutions have come up in West Bengal and the state will set up two to three colleges and a university in each district. So the target is two to three colleges and one university, two to three colleges and one university in every district as a part of the objective to bring higher education to more people. So more great work getting done there. West Bengal governor takes temporary charge of Tripura. So on 15th June 2018, the West Bengal governor Keshri Nath, so the West Bengal governor Keshri Nath Tripathi, Keshri Nath Tripathi was sworn in as the governor of Tripura as the additional charge uh, till of course the incumbent governor, so the incumbent governor Tathagata, Tathagata Roy, the incumbent governor Tathagata Roy uh, was on leave. Uh, he was on leave for a month because he wanted to go and meet his daughter and son-in-law in the US, right? So this is also something that you, you need to keep in mind. In the second part, we've covered up the important news. There'll be another part of the current affairs that we'll bring to you, which will cover some more pertinent news related to the West Bengal state. If you have any doubts related to the first part or the second part of the current affairs, you can mention that in the comments column. Good luck for your exams.